And the rise in cases is why masking up in schools has been such a hot topic of debate these past few weeks, with a judge ruling yesterday that the governor cannot ban schools from implementing mask mandates. While some parents think masks should be a choice, one thing is true. Parents just want what they think is best for their kids. And some Pinellas County parents say more still needs to be done to kick COVID out of the classroom. 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Close shows us why parents are now raising money for air filters. Like many kids, they're back for the first time since March of 2020. And like many parents, Reagan Miller tells me sending her kids to school back into the classroom wasn't an easy decision. I was having heart palpitations on a regular basis trying to decide what we were going to do. What calmed her concerns was Judge Cooper's decision to allow mask mandates. But all the science right now is showing you that we need everyone to wear a mask. For those who don't want to mask up, Miller gets it. It's an inconvenience. I know my kids don't want to wear masks either. But says this isn't just about one child, one family. It's everyone around us. Impacts that reverberate throughout our entire city, our community, our county, and our state. That's why other parents are working on other measures. And provide some cleaner air to more classrooms, which ultimately will benefit the entire community. With one son in Pinellas County Schools, Jennifer Schulman is a part of a parents group that already raised thousands of dollars for cleaner air provide filters for classrooms and portables, but also for just other schools that just don't have the HVAC system. Starting small, concentrating on one school, Midtown Academy. The goal is to make sure every classroom that needs one can get one. Take in the donations and then redistribute that um, to all the classrooms who truly need it. Of course, that comes down to money. The cost for these filters varies, but Schulman tells me it could be around $400 for a classroom. Some say that's a small price to pay when it comes to safety. Let's make it happen as parents. Our voices together are very strong and, and we can make things happen when we work together.